There we go. Hello. Let's continue my journey. <clears throat> All right. Uh. You can't go through the tunnel either. Aider's keeping us prisoners in our own home. This isn't kosher, Damien. You need to respect the rules. Respect the rules. Let's go. Wow. Wait. Wait. Here we go. Let's, um... Hey, how you doing? Don't trust the peacekeepers. Why not? They don't... They haven't done anything bad so far. Not from what I've seen yet. I'm just gonna bypass you guys. Um, yeah, see ya. What is that? Who's singing? 
Okay, bye. Cigarettes for my soul. Ow! You know what? How do I craft, um... I guess someone has to craft it for me, the- the lightning mod? Wait, where am I going? Um, up. Wait, where's this quest at? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Huh. Huh. Hello, looters. Oh, why'd you take out your weapon, bro? Open up! Pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. <coughs> All right. Get me I to the center, man. It's your turn. I want to see my sister. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aiders, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. <sighs> Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, You'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Bitch. Is there anything else I, I got you the I weapon. Go? Yes. As a matter of fact. <laughs> but this is totally hush hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut What's into up? his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this because if you find that. Wendy's. Nuts in your face! Then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Thought 
Do you know who Candace is? Worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Candace. Well, that's Dick no in your mouth. <laughs> told me to start with the bazaar. <laughs> no. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's <laughs> more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the Joe PK. Mama. <laughs> okay, I'll talk I got to him. And you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie, uh, she's not really my type, you know. And headstrong, she's. You'll see. Supposed to go? Ah! Move! Get out the way! Get out the way! <laughs> I'm a parkour god, bro. Whoa! Check this out. Whoa! Yeah! Ooh, I could take this. Hold up. Let me, let me, let me get this safe zone. Holy shit, that would have been stupid. Okay. Okay. Alright. Down, 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 down. Jump. Whoa! Okay, where's next? Next. Next, next. Oh my god, I almost fell. Safe zone. I really need a drink. My mouth is dry. I'm thirsty too. I should go pick up a drink. Let me go get a drink really quick. I'll be right back. Cluck, 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 cluck.
Cluck, 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 cluck. Let's get back to it. meters almost there Whoa. only one damage Take heed and bear witness for this is the news of the last city standing Okay. Oof. Wait, that hurt me? Oh man. No. What are you doing? Move! Hey, buddy. Are you fixing it or are you trying to sneak inside? I'll kill you. I'll kill. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim, and stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. No one told me why they hate the PK, like... This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. Wait, I got to go in the bazaar without anyone. Having me to enter. Humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <clears throat> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? I'm a fucking wolf, bro. A wolf. You better watch out. I'm relieved, then. 
A true wolf doesn't have to announce he's a wolf. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Got a package for her. No, you don't. Excuse me? Sophie knows no one outside of Villador. She was born and raised here. That's probably why she cares about this place so much. She's of great help to me. So, unless it's a package to kill this man. the street, I'll have to call your bluff. Who says I'm bluffing? I do. I could tell a mile away. But all right. I'll tell you where she is. And you know why? Why? Because whatever you it is you bitch. want, even if your intentions are hostile, she'll handle you. We will handle you. Just as we handled you before, Pilgrim. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. Thanks. Wasn't that hard, was it? Don't lie to me again, Pilgrim. After all, I'm not lying to you, am I? Just want you to return Well, you're annoying. Courtesy. Okay. My grandfather used to work as a miner in the quarry south of the old. <sighs> Sophie, can we talk? <laughs> Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. Bro, I'm gonna beat his ass. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. I have crystals. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Shut up, bitch. Let me, let me, let me beat this guy's ass. He choked me. I want to beat him. Hey, you. Yeah. Oh, Looking for work by any chance? What the fuck, you? Aiden. You're new here, right? Why? Is, why did you? Nope. Why? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't. You had a different voice earlier. I don't go out of my way to call attention to myself. Another admirable trait. You're looking better and better for this job. Yeah, which is. But about the <laughs> job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. I didn't agree to this yet. Haven't said you didn't agree, either. Just think it over. You'll come around. It's easy money. Maybe, bro. Maybe. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. ready for winter. And this between us, you that yes a workshop so where is it you're not in one now alberto um Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fox. They've already sent one of their f f f f f fuckwits? Who? That fellow. <laughs> Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. 
the asshole's name is Barney. Barney, the purple he dinosaur. The about a dark He's an asshole? I didn't know. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, a hundred and... Uh, <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. I guarantee my... Uh... <clears throat> Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about she it She looks already. old but young at the same time. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney! So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition... He's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. Barney. Not go shouting in the middle of the bazaar. They surprised me. Tippy. Increase height where you could land. What's this? Temporarily increase your movement speed, which allows you to jump across wider gaps. Increase the speed. How do you... Which is the, 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 um... I think that one's good. Oh! 
Sophie? I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. Oh! He has to be in there I'm looking. Recover, recover. Damn, look at all these zombies. Heal up. I didn't heal. I don't need to heal. Yeah. Bitch. Damn, these people cacking some coins. Your brother is dead. Here I go. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. No. Give me a second. I'm looting. There's a lot of crystals here. Hold up. Wait, I'm missing... There's another crystal. Hold on. Big guy, die. Bitch. Fuck, now what am I supposed to do? Barney, are that you? Who the fuck are you? A Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You <coughs> Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, <coughs> but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from!
Your sister is worried about you. Don't do it. Keep Sophie out of it. But, but it's true. You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit. Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away. You ain't getting a thing from me. Fuck, shit. Great. What a uh, bitch, dude. I want to slaughter this man. He was a baby. Annoying little brat. guys coming from yo what's up bobster welcome there's more heal in here How's it going, Bobster? Oh, you're Barney. Yeah, I went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected. When they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Can I find him? He was on the God ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you. Got it? <laughs> Hurry! Fucking guy. Where the fuck is your friend? Blood. Must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. Hey, you find Birdie? Not yet, but he was bleeding. Give me badly. a second. I just Followed got here. I wasn't going down without a fight. He dead. Isn't that him? Oh, he went up. Yeah, yeah, you're coughing. Which way did you go? This way? Where are you? This way? Hold on, I'm coming. I hear you coughing. Oh, you're up.
Here we go. Yo, what up, bro? Who are you? The maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> killed three infected. Did you see? Nice. Well, you killed two were three. Already, but <coughs> Listen. It's my birthday today. Uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta. Hello? Mom? <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan, what's going on? Nathan? Nathan! <coughs> Barney. You there? Barney. Aiden. Are you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney. Whoa, 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 upgrade. Just arrived. He. What? He was supposed to. I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away. What a bitch. Way? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar, oh. I'll explain everything. Jesus, you hey got there. coronavirus. Rehearsing for the big night? Where did you come from, handsome? I heard you, uh, singing. Don't lie to Lola, sweet cheeks. Bet you thought someone was strangling a cat. No, not at all, I, I... See this neck? You shouldn't be able to. Usually, it's wrapped in the softest, most rare of mink stoles. Lola was the grand dame of the bazaar. But until reunited with her beloved mink stole, she is unfit to perform. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved mink stole? Without <coughs> her, I can't hit the high notes. And you don't see minks scampering about everywhere, do you? Now, where is it? Earlier, a strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. I saw it flapping from the scaffolding near the GRE quarantine at the intersection of Market and Horseshoe. Lola is powerless to retrieve it. Well, uh, I could. Would you? Lola could return to the bazaar to entertain, not frighten yeah. children like a lurking screamer. Well, we can't have that. No, indeed. Thank you, my knight in shining whatever it is that you're wearing i shall await you at the bazaar hurry my fans await okay lady okay lady you need to chill out Why didn't 
Because I Is there a way to repair my weapons? No. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? <laughs> Give me a break. Bitch, I'm gonna break your face. Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you. So go bother her. Dude. Hang on, I, I hope he dies. Seriously, there's no time for delay. He a little bitch. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Dad, hey, I stole. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Mm. Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say <sighs> it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? You single? Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. Uh, why Those are crystals. the crystals important? What's the deal with them? I need to know. They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're, they're hard to destroy. Why don't I just make a weapon out of it? Than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they He's don't smart. get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. Hello, welcome to my stream. Kosim? Is that how you say your name? Ko Kos. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. No. How do you say I it? I'm sorry. Carl. 
So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more, and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that ah, you can be trusted. Got it. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Having fun? Oh, I leveled up. No, I did not. It lied to me. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And just between us. I'm having fun too. This this game's pretty fun. Whoa! It was a trap! Run! No more Fuck. Susie! Rum! Aiden, hurry! It's zombie! Loot this stuff. Your friend has time. Okay, I don't have a timer. Here we go. Perfect. Um. I see bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I like how you think. Hey, bro. Oh. You fucking with me? Boom! Bitch! Get your head. Ow! I blocked that, you bitch! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. There are no survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Susie dead, though. I'm sorry to say. She dead, dead. Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Damn, everyone's just dying. Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Grenades? Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. I don't see these crystals. Oh no. Fuck. What? The goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Me.
Give me a second. Ah. There's a lot of shit going on right now. Where's this big guy at? Ugh! Kaboom! Kaboom! Another. Kaboom! Did I miss? Oh, fudge. Okay, okay. Light it. Wow! Calm down there, buddy! Yeah! 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 Ooh. Oh, you're dead, really? Yeah! Hold on, this pipe is actually good. Three hits. Have you played this game before? Uh... I want to know if you could repair your weapons before it breaks. Cause this pipe is... All they had was rags, Sophie. man. Shit. Everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. Hey Wasn't there grenades? How's going? Alive, man? Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the Marian kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention some. Okay, I officially got, um. about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned, they took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Eito will let us into the center. Is there like no way, no other way around to get to the center? Sophie. 
Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I guess that means I should talk. wait here. This man is Hodor. Flashback. Mia? Hey, here. Mia? Aiden, what's the matter with you? Mia, where are you? She did. Just happened. Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Uh. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water, and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. All right, so what's let the plan me, now? From let me now take on, over the I'm water. Following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. What did you do, bitch? In case you change your mind. You didn't come home. be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. This man... Birdie, to your help. I'm sorry, I have no sympathy for him. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot <laughs> in a person's Cunt. life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. Alright. I'll tear them up. But it's nighttime. I swear. I'll gut them. Ooh, look. Real slow. Piece by piece. To round. Susie, and Birdie, to our crew. Okay, let's go. Woo! Oh. 
<laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. No! Oh, you bitch! Ow! God. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Um... I shouldn't be here right now. Oh, God. Climb! What are you doing? <laughs> you just Can't get over here. There. Yeah, yeah, run. Leave. What do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. <sighs> you came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when Peacekeeper we doesn't seem too bad. People, you better so be far. Careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. <laughs> Take care of yourself, Pilgrim. Yeah. Well. <sighs> Shit. Is there a place I can sleep? Wait, how do they not see the PKs over here? Gotta heal up. Give me a second. Like Sophie's not here. I better look for her. This may be your last Pilgrim and Barney. It's the other. Me likey. But Bar yeah, have you seen Sophie? I'm I'm looking for. Ah, oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. Uh, my throat's sore. Don't want you to catch anything. I'm unfucking touchable. The nastiest plagues can kiss my fucking ass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling him music? Hey, you mangy pricks! Say your prayers! Barney's coming! And he's gonna kick your dairy ears! This may be your last chance. Your brains. I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? 
Said she had important business to attend to. But you can wait here with us. If you can find here. out if I have a boyfriend. No. Which no. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? Did you take care of Barney today? That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. Old lady, man. Mm. It's better for the world. We're Just... quiet. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went... To... She said that... Uh... She went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more. <laughs> One more, more thing. Something's wrong with uh, uh, not working with the. Uh, it's broken. That. Uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden, how do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo, why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? Uh... I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. <laughs> I hope he's alive and that you find him someday. All right. Genius. Tens don't date three. You're back. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces. Bertie, Ralph, to your help. I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn, and he led me to her, to the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? About my sister. 
Do you I'm know her? Sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. It's a sad That's disgusting, day. bro. Each of our guys, we I'll kill five of them. Damn, Sophie moves fast. Hold up. Let me let me claim this um Come on, dude. Okay, okay. Now it's crouch this way. Oh god, I almost fell. Here we go. Let's claim this shit. Faster way down. Is it open yet? Oh, I can loot again. Hold on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. It's gonna kill me. There we go. No, Sophie. Apparently, the peacekeepers are watching us. I'll let them see what happens to Jack and Joe. And that we can do it to them, too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. I can claim a camp. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? I go in alone. Okay, buddy. Hey, I was still looking at stuff. Okay, yeah. I'm going in. Change of plans, Aiden. They attack. 
attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. Um... I am invisible. You can't see me. Here, he's here. Who's here? No one's here. Hold on, buddy. This pipe does so much damage. Look at him fly! Wait, he, he took zero damage. Oh, they're my teammates. I didn't need help, but thank you, I guess. I mean, thanks for sending reinforcements? Bitch, you ain't calling nobody. Oh my god, I almost fell. What is up here? something there. There's no one. You don't see nobody. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just kill this mofo. How? Oh. What? Jesus Christ. Okay, we could do that better. First. Wait. I have to... Equip. That guy just burnt himself. What? Is he dead?
he really just burnt himself to death. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's my teammate. Wait, my teammate killed himself? Are you joking right now? Oh my god, he's so stupid. What a dumbass. Alright, whatever. It's okay. You heard nothing. Let's see if I could get this dead ba dead dead man over here. Ouch. He gave me shoes. Sometimes I wake up at night, forget the Bravo Pilgrim. The Greenwood family. Any day we thank you. Remember. Who be you? Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Oh, it's Carl. Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the Maiden. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run! Fast! I'm glad you showed up. Jack and Joe are... I'll pray for you. Thanks. I appreciate that. What's this? Ew, what is all this? Oh. Nasty chemicals. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. 
Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe you will let us pass. I have to go, Hakon. I promised to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. Damn, I had to choose. But I want that booty. Ooh, y'all. Sophie? Sophie, report in. I really need more honey to make more, um, medkits. How do I open this? Am I not supposed to be right here? Is there a way? Other way? Oh. Sophie, what the hell is going on? Report in. Break it. Break it down, down. Okay, I got it. Gotta go around. Seems like, um, the PKs attack their building. But why would they? Aiden, your men are dead. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill I you. I betrayed you? What do you Help mean? Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? Hey, Barney! Barney, wait! You're gonna fucking die, bro. Look, three hits, bro. Get off my ass. You don't want this, buddy. What's happening? 
Whoa, how'd you attack me from that far, bro? What the fuck? God. You people. It's up here. Figures. I'm looking for Sophie. Sophie! Damn it, this isn't about you, Herman. Get out of my way! You wanna die, dude? Okay. You choked me, so you you just Okay, you're gonna die, bro. I don't give a shit. You choked me the first time. I dodged. Herman, give it up. Let me talk to Sophie. Whoa, he doubled attack. Oof. Okay, buddy. Oh god. Whoa, he fucking flung. Fucking lunch, dude. Dodged. Herman, give it up. Let me talk to Sophie. I dodged. Stop kicking me. What? There was no way you hit me, dude. Fuck out of here. That doesn't help, does it? Okay. Here we go. 
Here, jump. Bonnie, kid. Find Bonnie. Uh... Come out. Come on, man. I will find you. Yeah, I'll find you, and you're gonna die, bro. You know why? Because I'm tired of you. Hey, if you ask nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. This is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aiden. I don't work for Aiden. I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me. Why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? Because we can help each other. Who killed Lucas? He thinks we killed him. Sophie, talk to me. Did you do it? No. Sophie, what the hell? Why do you care about this murderer? What did Ator promise you? Adu promised me passage to the center. That's why I'm helping him. And you believe him? Just like that? At least he didn't try to kill me. He wasn't the one you betrayed. But I can help you too. Help us with the water, and I'll take you to the central... I just killed like five of your men. <laughs> First, I did not betray you. I'm helping investigate a murder, and that's different. As for your offer, isn't the only way through controlled by the PK? There is another way. Do you really believe that I just trust you again? We need each other. You didn't tell us you were working with the PK, so we made assumptions. Things are getting more dangerous and we all need to be careful. You tried to kill me, Sophie. I swear on the memory of Bertie, Susie, Logan, Ralph, and Herman, I'm sure. If you help us, we'll take you to the center. Will you help? How do you, I don't even know if she could. Plan. I'm pretty sure she can't. Jack and Joe escaped. We have a chance to take the tower and finally reclaim the water. Before fucking Ator does. We'll deal with the peacekeepers and getting you to the center immediately afterwards. First, we need to secure access to water. How do I get up the tower? It's almost impossible without a winch, and Joe's men sealed off access. That's why I'm asking you. So you want me to climb it? If you do, you'll save a great many people, Aiden. We won't forget this. Let me in. There's loot in there. What are you still doing here? Fuck you, I'm gonna kill you. What the fuck was that? Barnacles. Aiden, what's the status? It looks like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Sophie says once I help them get the water back, she'll show me another passage to the central loop. Sounds good. She grew up here. She knows every inch of this place. Better than most taxi drivers. 
But watch out for Joe, Aiden. The That's taller than I thought. Dangerous. I doubt he'd just run off like that. Joe, you nothing. Damn. Open up, Joe. Mama. Sophie, Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Dear God. If they do, we will have no water source. Come on, Aiden. The tower is mined. Try to disarm the charges. Yeah, yeah, give me a second. That's it. It was that easy, bruh. Hold on, I'm doing some parkour. Hmm, how do I get up there? The thing is... Got it! And the water is safe. Now how do I get on the roof? Here we go. Move. Here we go. Break that. Now I go... Peekaboo. I'm home. How do they not hear that, dude? Did not hear that. Hey, who's there? Oh yeah, they heard me fall down. Okay. Stop! Or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up. I don't know. I'm scared. Joe. You wanna go? Joe. Hey, isn't that the Pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? 
Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone. I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once. Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker. Gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Lucas wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. They've been setting a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Jesus city, Pilgrim, Christ. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I can get you out of town. But first, I have my own business to take care of. You need to hide somewhere and wait. Sounds like a huge risk. No risk, no gain. He's lying, Jack. There's no other way. Fuck! I don't like it. I fucking don't. But okay. We'll be waiting for you in the tunnels near the Tango Motel. We'll give you a signal when we get there. Good choice. Now give me the detonator, Jack. Fucking Barney. I knew something was fishy about him and his sister. Uh, so what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water? I want zip lines. I'm gonna try to stay neutral. the UV trap. Hold on. <laughs> Airbags. So I think it's good up to survival, revival, and then... Hmm. I don't know. We'll find out.
crafting, throwing knife, medicine, regen booster. Oh wait, I got a skill. Hack on. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout in the Hotel Tango. How could you I'll make sure the place is safe. Where's my flower, thief? But it's you who owes me, Teresa. Months of wages. That's it. Last chance to move your asses out of here. With my boot. You bitch! Break it Jesus off. Christ. Normally I like a cat fight, but bloody hell. Can you believe just yesterday those two were best friends? What happened? Last night someone stole Teresa's flower. All of it. A major harvest too. She could have made a killing. Without it, she got nothing. No flower, no sales, no money. She and her son won't last another month without the income. You think she needs help? Teresa? Why? Looking to earn some cash? Well, that's not why I... You're a pilgrim, aren't you? You guys don't do anything for free. How much do they fork over for the water? If you'll be near a shop. Now, thanks for the tip. Hey, girl. Did you see that? Elvira stripped naked and stepped under this, the faucet. You know, this pill. Oh, no. Good morning, Pilgrim. Have I already thanked you for... for the water? I hear you were robbed. But my best friend, no less. I'm devastated. Really. And why on earth would you jump to that conclusion about your best friend? I didn't want to, but who else could it be? She was storing it for me, to keep it safe, she said. And now, it's conveniently gone. Me and my boy are left with nothing. If only she'd admit it and return the flower, I'd forgive her, I swear I would. Lord is my witness, if she's in trouble, I'll help her. But she's a stubborn one. We've had quite a harvest, too. Wouldn't have had us living on Easy Street, but now... Now we'll starve! Do you have any proof that Anna did this? Not exactly, but it was in her shed, wasn't it? In here, I thought she was doing me a favor offering to store it. Turns out, she was just making it easier for her to screw over me and my boy. <sighs> Talk to her, would you? She won't listen to me. Maybe a stranger could get around her stubbornness. We can put this behind us if she gives it back. And if she stole it because she was yum, hungry, yum, 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 yum. she can keep what she needs. Her shed's near the water tower. Please, go talk to her. I'll think about it. Yeah, I'll think about it. A friend in need is a friend in need. I'll think about it. Fairy tales, if you ask me. Is there no f Watch yourself, is, here? is there nothing I could loot here, man? Come on. Am I here? The butcher's men are hiles of Hey Anna? Alice is all over again. Anna. I just wanna talk. Go away. Talk to me and I'll go away. It won't take long. Look, I know Teresa sent you. I wonder what the hell is going on. Fuck you. Central Jesus Christ. I got you this house, okay? Let me in. Open up, you bitch. Is there another way in? He fucking... I think I went too high up. Walk on the way to the central loop. Hmm. 
has to be another way. Bitch, I'm here. Please just go away. Can we please talk? I'd like to help. Help what? Remind me of my poverty? My drinking problem? Or that I'm a heinous flower thief? I'm not making assumptions. I just want to hear your story. I want to hear the truth. The truth? You want the truth? Here's the truth. I would never rob a friend. Never. And that's the end of my story. Did Teresa tell you about the half year's wages she owes me? I needed Teresa to sell that flower so she could pay me. Why would I risk everything? My well-being, Teresa, and her sons, by stealing it. Uh... She'd mentioned you were storing the flower. I figured it was the best way to keep watch over it, make sure I got paid. So we put it in my shed near the tower. I went to check on it this morning and nothing. All gone. You didn't see anyone lurking nearby or anything suspicious? You don't think I would have mentioned that by now? I can only tell you that I did not steal that flower. I wouldn't do that to Teresa or to myself. The only strange thing was that nothing else was stolen. My buckwheat, my beets, untouched. Whoever it was only wanted the flower. Interesting. Mind if I go check out the shed? Maybe it just needs to be looked at with a fresh pair of eyes. Knock yourself out. Uh. People this close shouldn't hurt each other. Let me just finish this mission. This dumbass mission. Doors unlocked. Somebody must have had keys. The rest of the supplies are untouched. They knew exactly what they were looking for. Nothing's broken. Someone was very in footprints. One set of shoes. Thief worked alone. Okay. Flower trail on the ground. Bags dragged this way. Where'd it go? <laughs> trail ends here. Who had the keys to the shed? Me and my husband. Nobody else? You sure? There's no sign of forced entry, Anna. Whoever took the flower had the keys. Or made copies. So you do think it was me? It's not out of the question. I thought at least you would believe me. What next? How do I return something I haven't taken? You can't draw blood from a stone. Calm down. And think, who else would do this, and why? Help me help you. Unless Teresa's right after all. Hard to tell. Someone from the bazaar, perhaps? There's Dodger. That guy's capable of anything. And then there's Benny, Teresa's son. And that's all I can come up with. What about Teresa's son? Why would he do this? Normally, I wouldn't suspect him. Nice kid. I've known him all his life. He's like a son to me. But lately, he's been quiet. Like, he's got something to hide. And maybe he does. But, no. Benny wouldn't have done this. It would break Teresa's heart, and he knows it. And even if he had taken the flower, why? That seems to be the central question for everyone involved. Where can I find Benny? Not sure. He's been making himself pretty scarce. That said, I'm sure Teresa's got him guarding their storehouses. Make sure what meager goods they have left are safe. I'll look for him. Since you helped my husband, I'll share a secret with you. The storehouses are full of traps. So be careful. My shed has nothing to The fuck to was that? Which is probably why it was so easy to steal from. And as for Benny, 
Teresa keeps close tabs on her son. Ask her. Who's this Dodger you mentioned? He's a snake, that's why. One of the shadiest characters in the bazaar. Come to think of it, he took an interest in Teresa's grain harvest recently. Asked a lot of questions. Never paid any mind before. I should talk to him. You'll find him at the bazaar, but watch your back. He doesn't give a rat's ass about people. Just money. Can you tell me where you were the night the flower was stolen? At home with my husband. There's not much more to say. And not much more? Or nothing? Nothing. I was home with my husband. End of story. Accusations are devastating enough around here. I'm ruined. And not if we find the flower and prove it was someone else. Perhaps. But in my experience, the damage has been done. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what I can find out. At least you believe me. Thank you for that. My sister found some weird tapes inside an abandoned building the other day. Some kind uh. of diary from people before the fall. Here he comes. Thanks. Okay, well. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Done. I am done. Okay, um...